Welcome back everyone. Hope you've all had a good Christmas and New Year's. Today I'm gonna whip up a, a manual lawn corer. Let's have a look. made a few years back now and uh, one of my mates borrowed it and he said hey you reckon you could make me one of them and I thought yeah why not well I've got you here I'll show you what else I've been up to I've been in the market for a new broadcast spreader for a while as I've never been happy with how much product this thing leaves in the bottom of it I like it because it's compact and it's cheap I've had this idea for a while, so I thought I'd give it a crack. It only took me about 15, 20 minutes. I cut all this up out of an old IBC and silicon in there. And um, it works amazing. So this is the one I originally built wait, two or three years back. And it's, um, it's worked good. So I'm going to make it pretty similar to this one, I think. So to start with, I've got here some 75 mil by 10 mil flat bar. I've got some tines. I brought these a few years ago online from Turf Tines. Back then they were about $9 each, I think. Um, could have changed. I'll uh, chuck the link in there for them. Got some uh, 25 mil tube, thin walled stuff, and uh, should be about all we need. Let's get to it. All right, we'll get started by firstly marking this out. Now I'm going to run three times. Suit yourself. You might want to run four or even five, but be aware: the more you put in there the more it's going to take to sink it into the ground. Now I reckon, I reckon three works good, personally. I reckon it might come in, say 25 from the end. I reckon we might, we'll run with 90 mil spacings. 90, 180. Now, 75 mil, so that'll be uh, 37.5 centers, thereabouts. are uh, three quarter inch or 19 mil. That 
obviously you don't have to do them this way, this is just how I'm doing it. got something that'll look like that. So then we'll just uh, plug weld them in the top. definitely don't need to go to all the trouble to drill it and plug weld it. That's just my preference. All you want to do is make sure that these are going to be nice and parallel and spaced accordingly. Some parallel 90mm spacings all welded up. Now we just need to make a handle. Now, with our handles, I want to put a little bit of thought into it. You don't want them too long that you're reaching above your head to try and get them out the ground again, or too short that you're bent over too much. So yeah, take a bit of time working out what length you want them to be, make them suit yourself. I'm going to make these ones 800 mil long. That's what I did with the last ones. It seemed to work quite well, so I reckon we'll run with that.
packets. So I need to lift this up. So I've got three 10 mil packers, 30 mil. Now I'm only gonna weld the inside of these for now. And that'll give me the ability to adjust these as I need. Then I can weld the handle on top. And I will uh, get it looking nice and even, in theory. The old didn't turn the gas on trick. Quite a dollar for every time I did that. Now it just come to my attention, somehow I lost a heap of footage, so I just wanted to quickly explain what I was doing. Just flattened out the end. So then you can get a weld on your handle. So it's all done. Ignore me welds, I'm no professional welder, but it'll do the job. Cut the handles to a decent length. I reckon we'll give it a lick of paint and see how it goes. manually core this little area every so often as it cops majority of the traffic through there. quite well. It's a good 70, 80 mil plug there, I reckon. Janelle and I did core this whole lawn and the front lawn a couple of years ago with a manual corer. Uh, what's that, 140 square metres all up. It was a big job, but it worked and it didn't take that long. I wouldn't recommend it, but it can be done. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.